water and ice. What are you saying? This isn't even possible. Of course it's possible, even instantly. Then show me. Let's go to the lab. The water transforms instantly into ice because molecules at liquid stage are moving. But at solid stage, frozen, the molecules are glued together, so don't move. That makes ice. If the molecules are moving, the water is still liquid and is not completely frozen. Only at the stage that it'll be frozen, it will actually become ice. Or a shock will froze it on itself instantly. My turn to do an experiment. It will be scientific and sugary. Run, Candy! Then we're going to pin two clothespins around the skewer and place it on top of the glass to make sure it fits. Afterwards, we are going to boil the cups of water and once it starts bubbling, add the 400 grams of sugar until it dissolves. Then pour the solution into the glass and put the food coloring. To make rock candy, you need to make saturated sugar water so that the sugar sticks to the stick and forms sugar crystals. This method is called precipitation, the other is evaporation. As time goes by, the water evaporates slowly from the solution. The solution becomes more saturated and sugar molecules continue to come out of the solution and collect all the sugar crystals on the stick. The rock candy crystals grow molecule by molecule. The finished rock candy is made of about a quadrillion molecules attached to the stick.